As you all know, I have a job. I work at a grocery store and it's one of my very first jobs that I've ever done and I'm kind of excited to talk about it because I got a couple very fun stories to tell you about. Now if you've been around on my channel you know that I already did this type of thing but I thought it'd be better to do a full on story mode, a Ken Talks number 3 or 4, I kind of lost track. There was this one time when I was uh, called to clean carts. I would come in very early at like 7am and then they would call me up to the front. When I clean carts, I'm cleaning them, wiping it down, making sure I have hand sanitizer type stuff on it and give it to the customer to introduce them to the grocery store and to make them feel welcome. I was doing that and I have to do it for about 5 hours straight which kinda sucks but you know it's not really hard and hurting my legs. So I was doing the job and then this one person came in and it went like this. Hello sir, would you like a cart? What? Would you like a cart? What? I'm not touching that stuff with my hands. Why did you wipe it down? Uh, forget it. I'll get my own cart. Uh, have a good day. Oh dang, it really sucked because he was so rude. I could assume that he was in a bad mood because when I turned around trying to like look at the carts and make sure we got everything, the guy came back, he was going back home, and he took the mask off really quickly before he left, so he was definitely in a bad mood. I'll give him that. But he was still kind of rude, so that sucks. What I do at the grocery store is that I would bag for people, put it in their bags, and I would help them out to the cars, which is pretty neat. I went and started bagging this one time. A woman came up and I started to bag for her. And then the little girl that was inside of the race cart thing was looking at me and I was like, oh hi, what you got there? And she's like, I got loonies. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And then she's just like, um, the next thing she asked, oh my gosh, the next thing she asked, <laughs> keep, it, keep in mind, I have long eyelashes. My mask covers up pretty much all of my face except for my eyes and I had puffy hair and the thing that I was using to hold the mask in place or as like a little necklace, it had the rivets on it right next to my ears so it looked like I had earrings. So the little girl asked, are you a girl? Disclaimer, there's nothing wrong with me being called a girl. That was honestly just super cute. So I didn't worry too much about that. <laughs> but yeah, I let her know. No, uh, I'm not a girl. I'm a guy. And then she asked, Why aren't you a girl? <laughs> oh my gosh. So then the mother, like, chimed in and said, Oh, so you don't know the difference because he has a mask on thing? And I was like, Oh no, it's okay. It was kind of fun and cute to hear that. And they left to go home. I honestly like looking back on that because girls are cute. And if I look like a girl, then I am cute. And that made me feel good. <laughs> okay, so there was this one time when I was bagging, didn't have any customers coming in, so I decided to go check the lot. It was Valentine's Day, my first holiday. The entire cart place was empty. And the guy was just standing there by himself. There was no carts. Hey. And they're all outside. Time to get to work. And then I ran out there. I ran, got the carts, came in and out and in and out with five carts at a time. And that was the limit I can get. I fixed it and then I was able to clock out. And right when I was done with that, my feet were aching badly. My stomach was hurting. My lungs were burning. It sucked. <laughs> it was all worth it because one day, one of the co-workers, they handed me a note. The note said, working vigilantly and always working with a sense of urgency and making sure the carts are inside in a smiley face. It was so heartwarming. Then I looked onto the back of it to see if there's anything else and yeah, it was a coupon. $5 off of a $25 or more shopping thing. I don't shop there so it's a little eh. Or a free sub. And then after five days of trying to use it but was too busy or too tired to just do it to wait I finally got my sub and it was good the subs they have there taste just like subway and that is perfect 
there's a lot more stories like that but I'm not too sure what else to add because those were the craziest that I can remember off the top of my head. Maybe I can add some more but for the time being that'll be all. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Love you. Bye. Thank you for watching. There's an extra thing that I wanted to mention. I was doing the cards again, wiping the cards, and then this one guy came in and he had a cool mask with the DC supervillain, Batman Who Laughs. So I decided to say, hey, is that the Batman Who Laughs? And he was like, yes, oh my gosh, you're the only person to figure it out. Yes, and I was just so happy because it was so wholesome. <laughs> it was so cool. But yeah, that's, so far, that's pretty good. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.